Prince! Prince! I was awakened by Prince, Prince, they want you. As I walked out the door, I started to realize, like, okay, is this good? Is this bad? I don't know. We heard that you talked to some DLs. Uh, no, not like that. Not about anything with the production. I mean, we got the story, like, he told me the names of the other people, he gave me his name, and this dude's a cop. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it to throw anything under the bus or throw the whole production out there in the window. The thing is, is it got him freaked out. Those little conversations put a lot of things in motion. I don't know what we're gonna do with Mark, because all it takes is two DOs to start talking yeah. and another inmate hears it, boom. So today you're gonna get released. As good of a job as David was doing, I just can't risk the safety of the other participants or my staff. We have no other choice but to pull David from the program. Now that David is gone, something's getting ready to pop off. David welcomed Dylan with open arms into their group, but I don't know that he understood the ramifications of what he was doing. There's been an order from the people in charge of the White House. Apparently, Dylan is a target. Yeah, that's not, not just a smash. Yeah, yeah, that's a life life situation. Yeah. It's not some small hit. It's freaking beat the crap out of him until he's got to be taken out by life flight. I really fear for Dylan's safety. And I'm also worried about the whole pod. Because you don't know if it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight or if it's going to turn out to be an all-out war. Ratchet is with the Whites and is stirring up a bunch of hatred towards Dylan. David knew Dylan was breaking the rules. He said that nothing would happen to him. Now that David is gone, it's chaos. When you ever see Ratchet with a box and his parents kind of look up, never. That's a battle stance right there. If you look at what the Ratchet's wearing, he's prepared. If Dylan gets life flighted for running Kinfolk, it's going to happen in the Thunderdome because that's where the security cameras have limited visibility. You do a first shift, you just do a line, not a good shift. Am I right? That's the top. Billy Walker's line. I'm worried for Dylan. Dylan could very well lose his life. Dylan, because if you go against your race, you're going to get punishment. So it just shows the pod is only getting more and more dangerous.